Er. Yes. Okay. Uh, and there we go. Alrighty, perfect. Do 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 and do. Alrighty. Here we are again. <laughs> the lemons just keep attacking. Now, I've never uh, made lemonade from scratch. I should probably do that one day. I'm glad that that was, like, the first ever joke about, like, the raids, because now that's all that matter. That's all that, like, we'll talk about. <laughs> In fact, I should probably, uh... <laughs> over there. I should probably, hey, Eva. uh change the raid alert to like something about lemons and ginza. <laughs> Soccer a mild disagreement. Hi Eva. <laughs> Why did the chat like for a second it thought that Eva like wasn't subscribed, but then it remembered she was. <laughs> it does that sometimes, like, I'll never figure out why. <laughs> Twitch isn't paying attention very much. Uh, give me one second to double check uh, Koi Koi Wars, because I think there is somebody else you unlock. Good. Oh yeah, we still have uh, Omer Rice Lady to play against. Oh yeah, uh, no, I played as her uh, last week. It was quite fun. I can do that if anybody wants me to again, but... Well, that is uh, up to you, since uh, it is Soccer Remy Wars. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I have a date today. <laughs> I completely <coughs> forgot about that somehow, which is like... <laughs> and a bunch of shit going on. Okay, there's Anastasia up at the top left. Also very intimidated by the fact that the big glowing green exclamation mark is right outside my door. <laughs> that's not something you generally want to be seeing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like living with your parents. Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. I won't have to deal with that in a couple months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. What? What happened? Oh, I think it's, I might, I wonder if that's basically saying like, you can just prematurely end your day off right here and now if you want. Oh, okay. Ain't gonna do that. Any any words, Sash? Uh, if you go to Ginza Alley. Okay. <laughs> go to this dark alley and you'll get some koi koi. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in a while, buddy. Ooh, he brought a date today. Oh, Cutlet Guy War. <laughs> Are you Cutlet? Is, is it female Cutlet Fanatic? Can I talk to you? No, no I can't. Oh, you can? <laughs> there is Cutlet Fanatic lore! <laughs> oh, man. Also, also I, think, uh, I, I think she heard you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like right in front of her, just going like, Yeah, I'm Slayer, I'm a crush on her, uh... I'm showing Scotland. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, the this family kicked um kicked what's her face out of her spot. <laughs> yeah, she's on a quest for revenge. <laughs> uh, we can talk to Kamachi. Get a bromide. Bromide. I'm seeing if I can see her in the. Like, these icons are so small, it's really hard to tell. <laughs> I wish I could zoom in on this map. Ah, well, thank you. Ah, oh, right, 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 okay. <laughs> 
That is uh, what the first logo is about. <laughs> What's up? First, I'll talk to Komachi. I can't remember the last time we had a fourth person on here. Um, let's see. Well, Becca's in the room. That's oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, technically, like, when you had guests on for the, the XCOM thing, I guess, but that, I don't think I was ever there for those. You were there for a couple. Well, no, no, I mean, I wasn't there when you had somebody else. Like, she was the guest. Yeah. Uh, I think that was before I was, like, a, a full-time member? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, uh... It is, uh, interesting to see how everything has progressed over time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of love happening tonight. A lot of love. Wait, who, who made that song again? Hold on a second. Wow, that was a Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I even remembered a Led Zeppelin song that wasn't Cashmere. <laughs> <laughs> Make love not soccer war. <laughs> she got a present. What'd I get? I'd no! Like to do a gift return. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Zero pr She can't even, like. She can't even have, like, you know, a nice quote on her fucking card. She always has to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna crush people. Komachi, is this like a rib? Is this like a prank on me? <laughs> this is like the equivalent of getting coal for Christmas. <laughs> I do not like this picture, Komachi. It's smug aura keeps mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Frank Reynolds having, like, some kind of weird history with the German combat <laughs> <laughs> that Akari, that is true. This girl is doing a bad job of it. She does a bad job at everything. I don't like her. She's mean. She's mean to me. She's, she's mean to. Angry. She's mean to this immaculately punchable face. Do you want some other <laughs> bromide locations? Bromide scoops. Well, first. I want to know who took this picture. Of her jumping? Yeah. The old man. Okay, that's fair. Manju Somebody Maniac. Was... <laughs> Somebody was bird watching and then she jumped out and they're like, ah! <laughs> You. What's up? She's finally calling me by my name. <laughs> Bye, Itsuki. Uh, old yeah, where- oh yeah, give me bromide scoops. Uh, one in the bath. Okay. There's no bath events. It's just in the bath area. Thank fuck. This is like, this place is packed. I just realized, like... This might be the most packed this place has been in a long time. It is making me anxious. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we got two chapters left or anything. There's no way this show could go wrong. <laughs> Path. Imperial Theater State. Yeah, like, at the height of its popularity, she's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm bailing out. Hope you don't mind. Where, where is it? It says in the cupboard near the mirrors. Huh? Aha! Ah, a girl, what? I know that lady because I saw her on good faces and I was like, hey, she looks cool. 
Where is that chain? Where is that chain attached to? That's between uh, 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 Labelia uh, uh, and Ichiro. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, there's oh, one yeah. outside the theater. I like how we've started doing, like, completionist tips three quarters of the way through the game. <laughs> like, I do want to go through this again eventually someday, like, as perfect a run as I can. Like, all the best options and such. Well, it kind of helps that the guide we're using is spoiler-free. Yeah. Basically, so... It's spoiler-free. One second. Perfect Senron save file requires, like, lottery. Which sucks. Forgot about the panties. So that that is not a good sentence to read in any uh, in any game. What? Uh, apparently, there's panties involved in a complete Senron file or something. It's the left left fence near the crowd. Left fence. Aha. One of them dropped it. I <laughs> guess. Melly, I'm sorry to say, anything related to Senron Kagura is going to have panties in it. I mean, I figured. That's a girl. Glycine Bloomer. That is... a Gundam name. She said... her name sounds like some... Uh, like a substance that would kill you. Somehow, Eva, it is not. <laughs> Because there is no outright nudity in that game. There's a bunch of bright white lights covering covering bits. I could theoretically play that game on Twitch. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, There's a horny threshold on uh, the Melv Street channel. <laughs> so we gotta go to Gins anyway, so... Oh yeah. Ginza Yokocho. Yeah. Ginzo Dori. Ginzo Yokocho, I think. Is that a thing? Does that exist? Yeah, probably. I'm scope. <laughs> oh boy. Arthur. Uh, Yokocho by the fortune teller alley. Arthur is the ultimate I have no opinion on this man character. <laughs> I just find it weird that he was like such a nice pal up until right at the end during that fight when he's like, you don't know your place. And then you kick his ass and it doesn't matter. Maybe he just gets really into it. Senran Kagura Estival vs. Not Horny mod and it's just Dynasty Warriors 8. That's true. <laughs> It'd be That's... great to just like... A guy. He may, he may <laughs> be short, but he has big dreams. I'm proud of him. That, that's uh, that's actually my motivational quote. <laughs> There's a couple extra events in Shenlong, the hotel, and Gidle. Hmm. No other um, no other bromides. No other bromides. Okay. Thankfully, all of these events, uh, you can pick whatever. Cool. Maybe I should be original. Fried rice! <laughs> A new kind of fried rice. The, the new generation of fried rice. rice. Fried 
What about mango fried rice? Is there a recipe for that? I don't know. I hope so. I that to... sounds great, yeah, actually. Need... Yeah, because when you mention that, I'm like, that sounds amazing and I need it now. I'm gonna well, look this up. Like... Maybe not like right now, I'm busy. <laughs> Uh oh, is it time for optic food? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Spicy mango fried rice, 15 minute vegetable fried rice with mango, bacon mango fried rice, easy one pan meal. That sounds good. I still yeah. wonder if somebody has made the dragon fried rice, or their interpretation of the dragon fried rice. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, that yeah, just yeah, makes me miss that Tumblr account. Um, that was like gourmet gaming. Oh yeah, where it did all these neat little um recipes and such for. Thank you. Oh, thank hey, you, <laughs> thank you, and hello. Mango fry, God, yeah. I'm just gonna be thinking about that till I make it. I I'm, I saw one that said bacon mango fried rice, and I'm fascinated by that. Yeah, there's a cherry tomato fried rice that I make, and it has bacon in it, and it's like it's not bad, but I'm kind of wondering what it's doing in there. <laughs> yeah, trying to find anything about dragon fried rice just brings up, like, restaurants called dragon fried rice. <laughs> yeah, the problem is this game never describes what's in it. I guess, like, you know, I've seen TV shows that do that. Or it's just like, you know, the lemon pepper wet is, uh, you know, it's a recipe so good that you're not even allowed to see the food. <laughs> I will say that, like, based upon just the images there, it looks kind of like it might be a yellow rice. Mm. Like a saffron Probably, seasoning. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Chicken or pork, but not bacon. Yeah, I, I've seen chicken be a way more... The problem is the bacon just adds way too much oil to it. It's just like, I, I don't, you know, I'm not really into oily rice, you know? I actually wonder. Making, like, chicken fried rice but using, like, yellow rice instead of, like, regular rice. Hmm. Hmm. I'll probably have to look into that mango recipe because I have been, uh, cooking non-stop all of a sudden. Well, since I'm right here, and since he's looking at me with his bull-cutted face, I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> so when he just look up from the phone, he's just like, <laughs> I'm kicking your ass, dude. I like, oh, see, yeah. I, I get, I know that it's like in the app or whatever, but I like to think I'm just playing across from them. That's what I kind of thought it was. At oh, first. Uh... <laughs> Also, yeah, I guess I guess that would be Mexican rice. Time to fight Sword Art Online, man. Look at that. Whoops. Look at him. This model <laughs> looks way better than the Sword Art Online games. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hungry now. I'm gonna go make some food. I'll be back in a bit. Do you want to bring me my food? Uh, no. <laughs> Once. Yeah, exactly. I am in the hotel right now. I'm just against him. <laughs> very right, I should go for the boar. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right, Sash. <laughs> Got a hit. Uh, I think I'm starting to get it, finally. What's that? Like, Hanafuda? What? When he said you're starting to finally get it? Yeah, like, I'm starting to get what I should do, what I should put on what. Ah, uh, cause, uh, with, I gotta be with... honest, I still have no idea. <laughs> like, what's even happening? <laughs> Basically, you have to figure out, you know, the right hands and such. Is there a fork with that? Uh, thank you, Sasha. Um, hey, I got a win. Four lights. 
Hell yeah. Eight points. You know, now that we're like staring him in the face constantly, it is really throwing me off how indifferent he looks. From, like, yeah. <laughs> like, the, even like the shape of his like chin, the way his eyes look, the texture on his hair. Yeah, it's it's a weird like... consequence of just how this game like has like several different character designers. Yeah, I mean, it makes him stand out, but like <laughs> he's even like kind of textured differently from everyone else. Hmm. It's weird. His skin's so like. <laughs> I also noticed yeah. how he's playing cards while holding T the entire time. <laughs> there's, nothing in that, there's nothing in that cup. There can't be anything in that cup. Omoshiroi. Omoshiroi. Who is this guy voiced by? Yeah, I kind of forgetting who everybody's voiced by here. Oh, I have no idea. Ooh. Any ribbons? I'll take it. Is... Oh, I'm, I'm looking down his list to see if I recognize a single one of these characters. <laughs> Naoto from Blaze Blue? Whoever the hell that is? He's a character from one of the Blaze Blue novels. Um... Ah. Wait a minute, he's Baki. The grappler? Yeah. Huh. That's uh, <laughs> but yeah, Naoto's a character from the Blaze Blue novels that got added, um... For, I think, Central Fiction? And he's, ah. like... He's got some of the same stuff going on as Ragna. Um, but, in, but he's a boxer. That is an improvement. <laughs> Stuff I dislike, you know, it's like, I'm like, Raga's terrible, but he's just kind of, well, him. Like, <laughs> he's um, voiced by Sugita, I can't complain too much. I mean, there is that, but a lot of voice voice cast, I'm just like, yeah, they're, they're there. You gonna Koi Koi? Cool. Hey, well, Hello, Akari. Home. Well, welcome home. The... <laughs> that was a very aggressive koi koi there. <laughs> he even had kind like of like a grumpy face there for a second. Yeah, was what, he looked like kind of like forlorn, and then he looks like he's about to kill me. <laughs> now he's really surprised. <laughs> Alright, don't as long as you don't take up uh, god damn it. Any ribbons junk. Arthur is junk. Oh wow. Uh, I had to look up how old he was, because the more I was looking at him, the more I'm like, I'm not convinced this isn't a ten year old. What? I said I had to look up his age just because, like, the more I looked at him, the more I'm, I wasn't convinced that he's not, like, ten years old. <laughs> he looks like an overgrown child. Oh man, my hand is terrible right now. But just, you know, bet your soul without looking up the cards and it'll freak out. <laughs> Oh, this is... Aha. Omoshiroi. I know that defeating him will lance a lot, so that's not too bad. Uh, you were cutting out a bit there. Oh. Sorry. I said, um... At least I know that beating him will hopefully unlock lance a lot, so... Oh yeah, I bet she has some animations in store. <laughs> uh oh. He has decided it is time to kick my ass. 
I must protect my own in cards. Lance a little. <laughs> Lance a little sounds like the name of like a Disney like direct to video film. Yeah, uh, get the. Oh, what's this? What? Let's get the river. Oh, I thought I was supposed to worry about stuff that was on the field first. Got boar and butterfly. Okay. God damn. <laughs> Arthur decided it was time for me to die, and so he killed me. I Defeat. Will end this here and now. It, it, it's cards. Calm down, dude. Where'd you pull that tea from? He's been holding it the entire goddamn time. There is nothing in that cup. <laughs> I've been drinking tea the entire goddamn time. <laughs> Why didn't you off offer me any? Because I hate you. <laughs> God, look at his face. You just want to punch that face. <laughs> I don't even find him particularly punchable as a character. <laughs> Well, with the tea, maybe a little bit. Just splash the tea in his face. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll kick your ass later. I promise. <laughs> Bitch. All right, well, uh, see you around. I mean, you already kicked his ass. Technically. <laughs> hey, Spectre. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess we did. He's like, well, I, I'm better at cards. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, I'm better at beating you up with giant mechs, so, like, you know. Lance a lot. It's kind of like, how... like how One Punch Man apparently is, like, really, really bad at games. <laughs> I tell your boss to stop kicking my ass. I will, <laughs> as long as you let me kick your ass. That's fine. She needs a rival. So, <laughs> uh... Starting to weird me out that uh, the uh, person behind the counter in this store looks a lot like one of my mutuals. Now I can't <laughs> like not look, not notice. <laughs> And it's Christmas. That's true. I, I I can't use my camera, so I can't break out the cat ears. Forties <laughs> cat girls. <laughs> we'll call it. A I already have one like lined up right now. Yeah, I already got other plans. Goodbye, Lancelot. Maybe I'll date you someday. <laughs> She's very nice when she isn't suffering from bloodlust. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christmas in October. <laughs> Neither of us are particularly dressed up for this date. <laughs> I am in my my best Hawaiian shirt and you are in a nighty. <laughs> that is a top I would not mind wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least see the Kabuki show? <laughs> Anastasia's is like, um, I, I misunderstood what you meant by date. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a uh, really great play. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just about... I feel like every time the Kabuki show pops off, at least one of us will make an Oh Kabuki uh, joke. <laughs> One thing that I find a little annoying is that I, I like that this game has CGs, 
but I hate that they're uh, that they're very small in this frame, and the frame takes up most of the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Sega CD game or something. <laughs> <laughs> An ancient wedding ceremony. Somebody needs to get sacrificed. I hope it's a wrestling wedding, so it automatically gets broken up every time. <laughs> Here comes Kamachi with the running. <laughs> Your happiness. Girlfriend. That was like a twist of metal ending graphic. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. I I, I just wish that it, like I wished for like five later. bucks. Yeah. I wished I could get off this stage. I'm really nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels so nice to our, you know, move around. I like that she's in that outfit. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, that. that's I'm what main is know. like, Akari. <laughs> you can't talk I'm to her again. That... There was another event. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad our date with the new Guilty Gear character went well. <laughs> Literally the first post I saw when I got up this morning was, Hey, I'm a Giovanna, I'm cooking the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I have Roman cats, I left. Main, uh, oh, does it, e, uh, does, I almost called it E.T., which is a very different, uh, thing. <laughs> uh, does, I forgot that it does take place in Maine. But the thing is, you know, now that I know that getting Are you getting married? Here, hold on. Marriage is the death of all joy in life. <laughs> what, what, what? Uh, Kamiyama, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Am I getting married? I'm only 19, apparently. <laughs> I'm only 19. Allegedly. <laughs> Eternally 19. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that. I like the movie Keanu. Uh, I almost said Keanu. What is wrong with me today? Uh, the movie Keanu, where like the big twist is like the cat has a rare disease. It'll be a kitten forever. <laughs> okay, I guess that was an okay date. It's not the not the best like end of a social that link date I've ever played, but. You know. That was basically a flowery way of saying, like, uh, good luck out there. Oop, uh, hold up before we start the next thing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Ow. I need to get into some of that dragon fried rice before I leave. <laughs> Keanu is the one where the cat is named Keanu because he's voiced by Keanu. But then again, I think it was because Keanu was shown a test screening and he loved it so much that he's like, can I voice the cat? And he did. That was a good movie. That really shouldn't have bombed as bad as it did. Is Strike Witches the one with the girls with, like, the rocket feet? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank huh. Becca says yes. <laughs> Why don't I have rocket feet? <laughs> <laughs> all that needs is um all that needs is ARPA. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh, freak. Oh, yeah, that, that came up when uh, Mad George's birthday came up uh, earlier in the week. And I was like, these effects are really cool. I've never seen that movie, though. Girls that turn into planes to fight the bad guys. <laughs> Wasn't that wasn't that literally last episode of Soccer Wars that you and Eva started talking about that? It was. It's just in between uh, streams. I think it was like a day after. It's like, oh, it's George's birthday. Oh. <laughs> He's like seventy something now, and he does not look it. He will never. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that's true. <laughs> I guess it's time to go back home now. One of those animes that isn't hentai might as well be hentai. Well, I, that's I, called I that's called that. Echi Akari. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that is true. He's like seventy something, but he looks like younger than me somehow. <laughs> Well, maybe if his art exhibit opens up again, you know, with all this pandemic bullshit going on. Uh, <laughs> Sasha wants me to check in on... Oh. Yeah, Sumire and Natsu. <laughs> Where? Uh, oh, hey. really dumb question. Who's Natsu again? Not, uh, Sumire is Natsu. Like, the oh, Sumire is her last name, Natsu is her first name, I think. Oh. Oh, I see. Unless we're both thinking of a completely different character. Wait, I can look Natsu this up, actually. The name Natsu is permanently attached oh, to- Oh, that's right, Natsu Sumire is a wrestler. Why didn't you oh. correct me earlier, Sasha? Maybe that was a uh, maybe that was a Mandela effect happening. <laughs> Wait, what's Sumire's other name then in this game? <laughs> Red-haired kimono lady. Hold on, before I talk to you, I need to figure out what your name is. Sumire Kanzaki. Right, that was it. That does not look There's like something the funny about this picture of Sakura that I can't quite place. Like, the, the, the shape of her face or something feels just kind of goofy. She looks very tiny. And I don't know yeah, really yeah. <laughs> Just something about Sakura's face Wait. here that I feel like looks kind of funny in a way I can't quite place. Wait, on second thought, why is she just Nakaruru? That's true, she is. <laughs> Great, we're gonna have a whole emotional arc where she turns into Rara and starts killing people and... I mean, of course we already got King there. <laughs> I love how huge oh, this girl is. Me too. We, had, we, like, we looked at a picture of her after the stream where we got this bromide, and it's like, oh, maybe Ichiro is just that small. No. Kana is fucking huge. Yeah, like... Why are there, why, why are there no more pictures of this lady? We, <laughs> we haven't found them yet. Found them yet. Oh yeah, that's true. This girl has a tiny back tattoo. Very, very cute. small. <laughs> I, I feel like a symbolic tattoo can't really come across if it's that tiny. <laughs> Look at this picture. Look how fucking huge she is. Oh, well. <laughs> like, even next to Maria Tachibana, who's also very tall. <laughs> you know, I, I have no idea you know, anything about the character, but I like her already. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Jesser, we need to get Bromart. That 
fucking picture is like that scene is ruined for me. <laughs> if I ever rewatch Breaking Bad, it's like I will not be able to take that scene seriously anymore. <laughs> It was really sad when they, when they took Hank's team account away. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it. Yeah, so basically there was like, uh, there was a series of videos going around uh, fairly recently where it was just like a bunch of guys at like 2 a.m. just pissing around in Discord, and it was just a bunch of people making, like, dumb posts about Breaking Bad that he read out, and it just kind of spiraled into a series. <laughs> it is, uh, Breaking Good on YouTube. <laughs> uh, for anyone that has not seen it. And then it's subsequent sequels, uh, Kitchen Dreams and Bottom Gear. <laughs> Bottom Gear is probably even better, because everything, uh, from what little I have heard of Jeremy Clarkson as a person, uh, the videos are basically just him. <laughs> like, he seems like a guy that would huff exhaust fiend for no reason. Very nice. <laughs> Shut mouth, hammock. Anyway. Uh... Anyway, I love how fucking hyped Lancelot looks in this picture. Yeah. She, she is nothing... She is, uh... Yeah, definitely... Uh, very... My words, uh, got lost somewhere, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, very hyped for punching people in the face. <laughs> with a mech. <laughs> I, uh, no, wait, no, she's the one that uses the sword. Yeah. Like, Lancelot, I think, for whatever reason, is, like, my one of my sleeper favorite characters in this game. Oh, yeah, totally. This, like, this is very much a shot of, like, call me. Wait, uh, 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 of what now? Like, like, this just looks like a thing that he would hand to you that just says call me on it. Yeah. Call me winky face. <laughs> Both of them do. Like, he's got these, like, sexy glamour shots. I will say I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I will say I've warmed up to him a little bit now that, uh, I forget who it was, but they pointed out he has, like, a couple of, like, you know, Japanese delinquent, uh, characteristics to him, which is interesting. Yeah. He feels like a mecha protagonist of a different series. Oh, yeah. Like, also, walking yeah. around with fucking fingerless gloves all the time always makes me think about, like, Domon Kashu. He cooks with them, too, which really worries me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I might rewatch that show, honestly. Like, if they had dumb web series, it's just like, you know, I should probably go check that out again. Like, Breaking Bad was one of those things that's like, I got kind of tired of hearing about it when it first came out, and then when it settled, it's like... Okay, now let me go watch it. I want to watch it again because the last time I watched it, it was with somebody absolutely terrible, and I would like to watch oh. it without thinking about this person. Mm. You still have to watch El Camino at some point. Oh, yeah! And uh, Better Call Saul. Hmm. Better Call Saul's a bit more glacially paced, but I gotta check up on that too. The guy from Spinal Tap is Saul's brother. Uh, so that. <laughs> Isn't he like a weird super conspiracy theorist? Yeah, he has supposedly has like um, electricity sickness or something, which is like this weird phenomenon where people think that electricity makes them sick, but they don't. <laughs> but <it doesn't. laughs> like I remember watching the first episode like five years ago, and like I remember something about him sleeping under a tinfoil blanket or something. Yeah. Yeah, that deflects the electricity or something. <laughs> What's uh, up, Akari? Oh. Yeah, um... You know, we... Over the internet, we usually watch it through text. 
whenever we yeah, um, are actually able to, but... <laughs> uh, I haven't really watched shows together with Melly at all. Um, we'll probably be doing more of that, because I've got my entire shelf of anime. Um, oh, yeah. When I, wa when I like to watch shows with people, I usually just do it over screen share, but not over voice, just because... I don't know. It's easier yeah. for me to, to riff on something through text if I'm watching it online like that. That is true. We still need to watch Bones. No, we definitely need to watch uh, Death Promise when I get up there. Because <laughs> uh, let me tell you, a kung fu film about uh, people offing evil landlords just feels more relevant every day. <laughs> uh, you were talking about Japanese delinquents. I forget if I've ever told you about it. But one of my favorite movies uh, ever is a movie called Drop. Uh, it's not really a, it's not a, like a smart or like a meaning, like super meaningful movie, but it's just a, bu it's a bunch of Japanese delinquents beating the shit out of each other for two hours. And <laughs> it's quite fun. funny. And I have it on DVD, so we should watch it. What's it called? Just Drop. Oh. And yeah, his uh, yeah, his performance at Better Call Saul is really good. <laughs> Every actor in that series is really good. I assume Mike shows up in that show, right? Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Cool. He's more of a side character, but. Mhm. Mm yeah, Spinal Tap is uh, that movie mostly holds up pretty well. Uh, and. The funny thing is, I actually had like a cop, like you know, they did a thing where they were they did a commentary track as to the characters. If I ever go silent, it's because I'm eating. Uh, it, it's uh. It's oh, is the stream issue. fucking up? Is it doing it again? Come on. It hasn't like disconnected us here. Oh. Oh yeah yeah okay. It was just having loading problems for Akari and me and Eva. Okay. And Okay, thank it's a God. Brief yeah, yeah. We the looming shadow of last time. night is scaring us all. Yeah, because when we were trying to do Raw's Emmy, apparently the Guilty Gear reveal trailer broke Twitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> which happened to be when we were streaming. So, so if you look at the vods on the channel, there's about like eight really short Fire Pro videos. Yeah, it's like. It's like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 8 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wait, what God, is what is happening out. now? The mysterious third person. Hmm. Who is the third man? Whose side is he on? Sandy Kaufman again. <laughs> it's it's peanut. <laughs> Just, peanut turns heel. Hollywood <laughs> peanut. <laughs> I would be tempted Hi, to call Anastasia. the video. I'd be tempted to call the video that, but like he hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> uh oh. Are you gonna shoot me with a gun? There's something weirdly ominous about this. I'm not sure what it is. Assume like, this Anastasia is the dating not... sim finale. Oh yeah, probably. But it's just like Anastasia like does not seem like the person to like drop in on people, you know. <laughs> Sure. She seems Let's like go. the person to text you, you up. Yeah. <laughs> you up, winky face. <laughs> well, going with, uh, going by uh, what we've seen so far, it'd probably just be a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that emoticon, uh, showed up. Don't do anything saucy in the Ferris wheel, kids. Yeah, that's like really cliche. 
I miss Ferris wheels. Thought you were about to say I miss having sex in Ferris wheels. I will not comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> Kamiyama's like, hey, watch this. Watch me. She's like, I can just shake it back and forth. God, he and Anastasia's like, I will kill you. <laughs> That's where the gun comes in. <laughs> That's <With> concerning. <laughs> the process is like, you know, you gotta look, uh, look it up on Google and... But but then it'll be way it'll it'll shift the weight to one side and it'll get really scary. Yeah, that, that is kind of why it's set uh, up. Like that, right? Are they both fine? Yeah. What is with the way she was looking at you there? <laughs> she got mad that I wasn't sitting slightly closer. <laughs> she, she like looked really suspicious. The silhouette of a gremlin sitting outside the booth. Oh, like Gizmo kind of gremlin, or <laughs> like I'm glad that we went with her for this date because it feels a bit more apt since she's leaving. Yeah. That and it's not like not getting creepy or anything. Or is this just? Oh, I can't tell if this is the date or if the, like if this is because of like the date or if this is story. This is the oh, okay. It's just very thematically appropriate then. Oh, the the uh. Right, the uh, gremlin that harassed William Shatner on Twilight Zone, got it. <laughs> There's a thing on the roof of the Ferris wheel. <laughs> I don't- I hope you don't think this was on purpose, this is just like, how the hell would this be on purpose? I like that very much. <laughs> I like how the one on the right was like the horny one. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're about to have sex in this Ferris wheel. What was that about the horny threshold? Well, I mean, we're kind of too late at this point. So. We're too far in. So is Kamiyama. <laughs> Eighteen plus Melv stream. <laughs> Melv stream dark. <laughs> That's where you'll find the porn and also all the uh, dark matches. <laughs> and the movie Dark Man. <laughs> yeah, I know what day Christmas Eve is. <laughs> If it was midnight on Christmas Eve, then wasn't it Christmas? <laughs> cutlet guy's going nuts. <laughs> There's like three different cutlet guys in this very shot. <laughs> the wait is over. I'm gonna stuff like four cutlets in my mouth. <laughs> Out of focus, Kamiyama in the background. <laughs> I get the feeling something bad is gonna happen. I'm in danger. Yeah. There's uh the uh the Yaksha will show up and blow up cutlet guy or something. <laughs> Specifically cutlet guy, I've always hated you. <laughs> they were You need to refine your palate. <laughs> they were roommates and they have a history of uh you know not not uh, making sure it's clear whose food is whose. <laughs> is this near this the is, end of the game? This is like three quarters of the way through the game, I think. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Something about Hatsu in that outfit doesn't look right. <laughs> Hatsu, you're too femme right now, it's weird. Yeah. Nazami's still doing like the arm flap thing even though she has no sleeves. <laughs> It does feel like that, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I definitely think we're getting into the, like... The big climactic arc. Yeah. But we're still on Anastasia's personal character growth. Weren't we back in business that time we had that really good play when everyone got... and all the girls kissed each other? <laughs> that Arpa got really intense about. <laughs> oh, oh. Plus intense, it, it, it more like uh, when he finds a good joke, he gets miles out of it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Anastasia, I'm supposed to be the one making the music references, and not Miracles you. Miracles take effort. I mean, fucking magnets. <laughs> you need to take the biggest risk for the biggest miracle. I kind of get what he's saying, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure that's like the opposite of what a miracle is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a miracle is just like something that happens that, you know, you don't do. <laughs> like, yeah, tell, tell Kinzo Ushiramiya that. <laughs> Oh, I will. No desire. Melly, you should read Umineko. I think you'd be really into it. I'll uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> if you're in the market for another very long visual novel. This one doesn't uh, have roots or branches. It is just a straight-on book. Uh, I will let you know what I am. Is uh... <laughs> <laughs> I know there's like, you know, the two characters in the Higurashi vs. Toho game, and I have no idea where they are. Like, I don't know if they're like a secret secret boss that you have to <laughs> unlock or something, but... Who is it? Uh, Burn and Lambda. Okay, yeah, yeah, they are probably secret bosses in very specific routes. Yeah, it's like I've never once encountered them. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sakura's in this game. <laughs> God, this feels like- this is giving me definitely some review Starlight vibes right now. <laughs> and the play's over. <laughs> Kamiyama, why are you not in the dress? Yeah! <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> Looks like we're just getting our mental recap episode right now. <laughs> Evil peanut. This would just be a Hollywood peanut again. <laughs> I love Hollywood peanut because it's like on the little nose holes you'd have the sunglasses. <laughs> just a also, sharpied on up. beard. <laughs> oh man. Also, I was coming up about to like punch somebody there. He's always about to punch somebody. It's true, he has a lot of built up angst that uh, we don't really see. He's uh, focusing on every. NWO Japan Peanut. Yeah, there we go. Just, Wouldn't that just, just be like shot pictures of NWO Japan, but instead of uh, NWO Sting, it's just Peanut? So would, would that basically just be like Chono in the Peanut outfit? <laughs> or Jeff Farmer. <laughs> Man, I feel so bad for, for non-jumping Jeff Farmer, because it's like, what are you most known for? Pretending to be a different, real, better wrestler. Which is weird, because to this day, nobody knows anything about Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. There's zero information. 
Like, there's a couple of, um, you know, like, some, like, you know, relatives and stuff came for, uh, I think the, what was his name, like, Richie Rouge, I think he posts on the internet every now and then. It's just, like, there is no indication of who the hell Jumpin' Jeff Farmer is. Like, nobody knows who he is, it's <laughs> really weird. It's terrifying. Yeah. As for Tony the Spider, Richie says he's still best friends with him to this day, so I might be able to find some info on him if I'm uh, able to email call him or anything. <laughs> and I hope I do, because I need to know more about Tony the Spider. Oh, really? I need to meet, like, a wrestler. I've never done that. <laughs> like oh god, who- what wrestlers have I, like, m taken pictures with and, like, met? I met, uh, I, f I don't even know what they're fucking called in NXT now, but they, the, the former 3.0, uh, they bunny ears me in a photo. <laughs> um, met Tanahashi, met Naito. Mm. Um, uh, at the Limitless show a couple years ago, I met, um, uh, I think he, he goes by, I think, Danny Burch in NXT now. Martin Stone. He's a cool dude. He's a cool British, like... He's like the epitome of, like, old, crusty, like, semi-shoot British wrestler. <laughs> That's pretty good. And also, uh, that sounds, uh... <laughs> Jake the Snake at a con. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, remember the, I remember the one time, uh, the only brush I had at a notable person being at a con was, uh, a very, very weird YouTuber, apparently, was there, and I just didn't know, and then I, uh, ended up finding out he was there, and I was like, oh, I was in the same building as this man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sasha met Bam Bam Bigelow once. We were like five. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've I've heard of the uh, cheeseburger story. <laughs> <laughs> my um, my like a family friend who's basically my dad, um, was out at the death at I think it was the Denny's in Portland, way back <laughs> in in the day, and he he just saw Andre the Giant like pounding a, like a hundred beers. Yeah, that, that's what he does, I guess. <laughs> uh, the the uh, wildest uh, celebrity just I happened to be close to uh, at the time. Not close to as in I knew him very well or anything, because that would be very strange. Um, I forget if I told this story, but I went to a restaurant in New Jersey and Vanilla Ice was there. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> And like, I remember my mom being like, don't say anything, but Vanilla Ice is right over there. Because, <laughs> like, there were, like, a bunch of, like, fans, like, you know, like, you know, jumping around being like, he signed my autograph, and, or, you know, he signed his autograph, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's like, oh, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cool advice. You're, it's Oop. funny, from what I've seen of that movie, it is funny how, like, kind of unnotable that movie is. <laughs> I mock like, punched John St. John once. I think I remember you telling me that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of what I was surprised about. Like, I guess there is a Vanilla Ice fan base out there. <laughs> Who knows, maybe his metal career uh, brought him some fans. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did go platinum in the 90s, so he has some people out there, but... I can't imagine being one of them. <laughs> I forget if I saved or not, so I'm gonna paranoia save. I'm... Kind of like I'm acquaintances with a uh, Chikar, uh, former Chikara wrestler Big Calix. 
Haven't talked to him in a million years. But he's a cool guy. I uh, am mutuals with a guy that I think is a wrestler. Uh, he was like... I became mutuals because he modded the VF No Mercy, but like... Uh, yeah, he's apparently uh, an actual wrestler. Phil Early is the name he goes by. Huh. Uh, and yeah, he uh, made a uh, a really good uh, No Mercy mod that's still in progress because uh, he's adding a ton of stuff to it. <laughs> uh, you know how No Mercy usually has four costumes? Uh, I think he figured out a way to have everybody have like 30 of them. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like... The last Vanilla Ice record was released in 2011. Oh yeah, that's... Uh... He really did. Anyway, Soccer uh, Wars. Soccer Wars, that is a video game that we can play right now. Sorry, sometimes this does turn into a podcast, but, you know, it's not a, it's not a problem, because, you know, it's us, we're cool. One day, one day I'll do, I'll, I'll be part of a podcast that goes for more than two episodes. <laughs> Kanpai. One day I'll be part of a podcast. Somebody lost part of the drink there. I think your uh, mic was off. So I think you accidentally <laughs> turned it off when you meant to turn it on. Oh. Yeah, it's on yeah. right now. I apologize for anyone who heard us eating then. Big slurping. <laughs> I didn't hear a thing, so... Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I know one of these one wine glasses is poisoned. <laughs> oh, jeez. I know one idea we had was like a Hunter x Hunter podcast because I have very conflicted feelings about that series, but I've never really said them out loud very much. <laughs> but is, then there's, yeah, um, there's also the idea we've been throwing around recently, which is kind of similar to that. Oh, yeah, but I don't know if I want to say it yet, because if it is oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> in the works. Uh, the, the thingamajig, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yuri podcast? Where do I sign up? <laughs> can I, can I be podcast. Can I be in on this? <laughs> it's actually just a podcast about Yuri Sakazaki. I am known to enjoy Yuri sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's... <laughs> uh, I have not been paying attention to this cutscene. Doesn't really seem like, it seem like you need to, it's just a generic, uh, you know, we did good conversation. Anastasia's cried. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that episode of Beavis and Butthead where the entire time it's just Beavis going like, I was not crying, Butthead! <laughs> <laughs> like, Butthead standing up in the middle of the entire high school is just like, I have an announcement to make. Beavis was crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the Grunk Squad, straight. Yeah, um, Grunk Squad is another thing I have to kind of work out. Because uh, I have no idea how to even approach that anymore. <laughs> a great woman once said that is a very chunky game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she still has not pulled a gun out, and I'm still scared about that. Yeah, like, how, how does this lead into. Why is she leaving? Um, I forget. I, I think it's She's basically leaving because it's because it's supposed to be like, oh, this is only kind of a temporary affair, and you guys, so I gotta go back home now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, leave her alone. <laughs> Let's eat, laugh, and enjoy ourselves. Let's live, <laughs> laugh, and love. 
Laugh and grow fat, as that one dude from Metal Gear said. <laughs> I'm not much into Metal Gear, but I did like that guy. <laughs> an audience and acting skill. Hey, hey, they did have an audience. Oh no! I didn't choose this! Kamiyama, isn't this the woman's bath? Is there something you want to tell us all? Oh, hold on. This is unusual. <laughs> naked Kamiyama time! <laughs> It turns into like the naked riding mission. <laughs> oh no! What is Wait, the... so do we have co-ed baths or do we just have a woman's bath? And Kamiyama has to keep sneaking in because he has literally nowhere else to bathe. I don't understand what's going on here. What is this game's obsession with awkward bath? Like, did the writer have like a traumatic experience with somebody walking in on him while he was taking a bath or something? Like, <laughs> and now he is naked. What is happening? I. <laughs> Why are they on the floor? Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Hide beside the mirrors to the right. Is the recommendation here? Why are there peanut platforms in the So this bath? one? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what's happening. This is stupid. Look, just go in the shower and be like, sorry, I'm in the shower right now. Uh. Like, it is so simple, what you have to do here. <laughs> but no, you have to go commando in peanut form. Where is dude the... underneath that all that peanut stuff right now? How the hell is this a scene that just followed the previous scene? Ugh. This game is a tonal nightmare. It really is. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Even Hatsumo is just like this is so annoying. Actually, what is that expression in that context? <laughs> She's yawning. <laughs> Get in the bath before you catch a cold. <laughs> it, 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 it's like Don't you have fun. a girlfriend now, sir? Yeah, that's what eyes. I was thinking about. I was thinking about Kamiyama naked riding scene where he's just covering his crotch the whole time. Wait, hold on. Something about this dialogue is making me think. Is this a dream sequence? I hope so. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Kamiyama, of course I am a dumbass. I didn't realize I could close my eyes. <laughs> Noob Saibot covered the uh, screen so that you didn't have to see it. Well, oh, that was completely pointless. <laughs> Man, it's like at least, at least, like, Senran Kagura, like, it advertises itself as being that, but this game just keeps throwing it at you completely unwanted. When it's like the least uh, appropriate, too. This it's game like is like one is like two steps away from being great, but it keeps falling over at the finish line. Yeah, it's like. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I know I don't have any other friends, but she might. <laughs> this is two different games, yeah. It's like... It's like a legit game that keeps, like... Every now and then turning into a PC Engine game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, I gotta uh, think about my life for a little bit. <laughs> I have to realize I'm a human being that couldn't realize that they could close their eyes. <laughs> That's what bothers me the most. That he's like, I can't look away. It's like you have eyelids. <laughs> God, this game is dumb. Like, again, that was right after the whole, like, you know, tearful send off of Anastasia. You know? It's just like. I was making a phone call for like five hours. <laughs> this is one of those late night phone calls where you just kind of walk around outside for like two hours. It was it was a Discord call. Oh yeah, that would explain it. 1940s Discord. <laughs> I wouldn't say that Anastasia was really acting that odd. Wait a minute, that's not a way to the bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to me, she is just acting like a person that is, like, you know, kind of conflicted about having to leave. That's all I'm yeah. really getting here, but... What? Oh my god! Wait a minute, what the... What?! <laughs> um... Reiji! Is Reishi going to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny that she pulled it on Reishi. <laughs> what? Is he fucking dead? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> He's pulling through, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's Anastasia so I can ask a lot of questions? <laughs> First of all, Anastasia, why didn't you tell me you were gonna do it? I would have been way on board. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad, Reiji <Rage> survived. <laughs> why did you steal your sword? I was kind of nervous like that. Is it a secret honest is it is it an Anastasia doppelganger? That's my that's my game theory right now. That would make sense. <laughs> that would make sense. Well I mean it wouldn't, but nothing in this game makes sense. So <laughs> I'm not sure what what makes uh you know less sense, honestly, right now. NWO Sting style Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to put that in Wrestling Revolution. <laughs> Help me understand what's going on in this video game. <laughs> <sighs> Who killed Reiji? <laughs> I like that Anasta or um Azami was like crouching down ready to just jump up into the like ceiling. <laughs> she can't betray us, she fucked me in the in the Ferris wheel at like two nights ago. <laughs> don't don't give me that camera angle, please. We're going after what? Anastasia. What? What? What the fuck? You're saying that like she must you have are. had a motive to shoot that loser. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they're more worried that she's leaving rather than the fact that she just fucking shot a member of her crew. <laughs> well, it's ragey. It was it was the basement pervert. <laughs> oh, that's where this is. This is like ridiculous. Yeah, it does. 
<laughs> we never leave a member behind and it just hard cuts to raise you with flies over him. <laughs> Are we gonna find out that Anastasia also shot the fucking Berlin troop to buy time? <laughs> we'll figure this situation out even if it kills Reiji. <laughs> You're sorry that suggest- She fucking shot Razy! <laughs> <laughs> this makes some sense, everybody! Melly's having a normal one right now. But, like, <laughs> she just shot a member of our crew, and she's like, I was a fool to think that she was a traitor. <laughs> I like that these- these, uh, robots are like a ranking system right now. Uh... Your bronze robot- what? What? Uh, what? Uh... Um... Why are they Yaksha? This is... weird? Wait, is she with them? I feel like they were like, you know, they're 25 minutes late and, you know, she's been going like, you know, out for no reason, so I have a feeling she's in with them. <laughs> she's secretly German. <laughs> hey guys, we it just cuts to them doing their usual stuff in the restaurant, like he's still cooking, but they're both wearing the Yaksha masks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Of course, he's still cooking. I mean, I know he's a chef and all, but it's just... Well, that's weird. Not of our business, though. <laughs> Look, no matter what is happening, we have to eat. Who? Everyone is acting really weird. <laughs> it's like a five on one beat down. <laughs> Are we actually gonna beat up Anastasia? <laughs> Cause that would be really weird. What do I do, Sasha? Anyone's good. You're more important than Reiji. Yeah, let's go now. <laughs> also, you shot that guy. The Flower Division is a family that shoots each other sometimes. <laughs> I love how. Lost over the fact that Reiji got shot is right now. <laughs> oh wow, Anastasia with the spy. I never, uh, never figured that one out. <laughs> yeah, go by the fact I'm that she did the whole <laughs> Actually, we don't. Who are you then? <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible actress. <laughs> God, if this was just her acting. So she's basically an Ace Attorney villain now. <laughs> Can't believe I fucked you in a Ferris wheel. So the way you put it, um... Anything, Sasha? No, it's all good. So, the way she puts it, she just sounds like totally deranged now. <laughs> Which might be the case. Yeah, but like, t to who? <laughs> no more of this astrology talk, it's dead to me. 
What the hell do we call this episode? <laughs> This episode is titled, Steve Austin Voice. What? This episode is titled, It's All Gone to Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the team status look like right now? <laughs> yeah, what is... She still likes us. I just have expected to go whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic <laughs> hand just picks her up and just... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's keep going, I guess. <laughs> as far as we can until midnight, anyway. Suddenly, the uh, the thumbnail we made for this makes maybe a bit too much, uh, a bit too much sense. <laughs> Oh, time to go to the Soccer Wars other world. So in the middle of all this... Demons. That was not really the time for demons, I feel. <laughs> I wonder if Anastasia is a demon. That would make some, uh... Kamiyama, make... I'm already a demon. Okay. <laughs> She's like a Yu Yu Hakusho demon, basically. <laughs> uh, no, because not the entire game isn't stupid. Congratulations, Day Hakami. I mean, you made it across a, you made it across a pit. <laughs> yeah, he didn't fall into his death this time. Uh, right, I, I forgot that, uh, that was a thing with him. Pursue Anastasia and uncover the truth. Okay, because I, I thought it just like stopped the plot to go fight demons. But it actually no, it's is, like uh... it's like a, a demon realm like appeared while when we were about to confront her. Yeah, but like it seems like it's actually gonna lead up to finding out what the hell's going on with her rather than being like, okay, back to you. A zombie is also here, I guess. More pals. <laughs> that is a made of blades. That is Chainsaw Man. <laughs> reading that manga. Fucking yeah. awesome. You're cutting out a bit, but I was about to ask about that. Yeah, it's it's really really good. You should read it. I should. I'm a little worried that it would. uh... Thing is, with me starting like anime and manga and stuff, it's like. I feel like there's a track record of it just doing something that'll make me stop reading it. <laughs> uh, and with Chainsaw Man, I can't even begin to ask. I I know from the start, like I've I've heard and been told, the Chainsaw Man is a very um. I I want to say unfun, but I don't mean that as in not enjoyable. Hmm. It's just, uh, it's a lot. It's kind of... You see a lot of people being very downtrodden and in trouble and maybe dead. Well, I like the least of the painful, so... Because, <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, I did not gel with Dora Hedoro, so... Oh, that's a bit of a shame, but whatever. I, I couldn't really get over the character whose gimmick was that, like, it's funny that she gets mutilated repeatedly. I think I tapped out during that part. That's fair. I, I will say, like, that gimmick... 
That gimmick stopped being funny like the second or third time. Ow. Oh, I guess there's just d d hazards. There's stage hazards now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I did like the style and the character designs, though. Like, from at least my experience with the anime, um, I haven't finished it, but it does feel like she gets, like, that, 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 st that happens less and less over time. I hope so, because I was just more, like, kind of uncomfortable than I was amused. Sakura, I'm gonna be a Crisis of Faith number four. Yep. I will say that the manga has, oh, like, a really, really noticeable, like, kind of grimy look to it that I appreciate. Yeah, uh, ch what, Dorohedoro or Chainsaw Man? Uh, Dorohedoro. Chainsaw Man has the same, like, look. Like, it's, it's very, like... Like, not, no, the lines aren't clean, it's got a kind of sketchy look that I really like. I'll, uh, check it out if I'm able to. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna disagree with Kenny being funny too, so... Because, yeah, South Park, but... <laughs> I think the one funny thing they did with that character is that they had an episode that was, like, dramatic about the fact that he died, even though he died like a million times. That's like the only thing I found funny about that. <laughs> it kind of reminds me like there was that Aqua Teen episode where Frylock was dying, which was like most of the... because it was actually like being kind of taken weirdly seriously, but in the background Master Shake just keeps dying for no reason repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> like, supposed to be more focusing on Frylock, and Shake, Shake is just like, uh, I ate a scorpion and I died. <laughs> oh, double oh, combo. Uh, <laughs> oops. Kamehameha has been robbing off on oh, yeah, the <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm really missing the- the tried and true Senron Kagura, like, dive right now. Like... You- at that game, every single character, if you're up in the air in this triangle, you get a- Oh, you're cutting um, out a bit. Ah. Uh, um... In Senron Kagura, um... Every character has, like... An attack that like it, it's like you're up in the air and you it just you shoot downward and it has like guaranteed knockback. Yeah, ground ground pound, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice in this game. <laughs> well, first we congratulate her for shooting Reiji. <laughs> and then be like, uh, so what the fuck? <laughs> I want there to be a character in this crew that's like the type of character it's like when they find out, uh, you know, one of the allies is a villain, they're just like, Alright, well, you're dead. <laughs> just without any emotional conflict. <laughs> that seems like it would be Hatsuho. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little confused too, but probably the least amount, because I mean, I know, I know she always roughing people up. So, oh, I almost attacked Kamiyama. Where am I going? Where am I going? Here. That's where you came from. Oh, this way. Thank you. Accident, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't... Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's a pretty good gimmick. Who is uh, Charlie again? And Rugal, yeah, I kind of forget. He dies repeatedly, too. 
行きましょうそして本当のことを教えてもらうんです The truth. I don't know why, but the more I read that objective, the more I'm like, oh yeah, Charlie Nash. I guess he did die a couple of times. Because <laughs> he he uh he's dead in like the Street Fighter the movie plotline, but also in Street Fighter Five he's like dead but reanimated or something. Wait, I thought in Street Fighter the movie Charlie Nash just became Blanca. Oh di oh right right wait no no uh. I'm gonna have to look that up, actually. I'm very confused. I thought he was, like, Carlos Blanca or something. Well, yeah, I thought they merged, like, the two characters into one. Oh, yeah, I... Yeah, I might have to look into that. I was kind of, uh... That kind of is, like, offhandedly explained, I think. Because I remember Gal was punching Vice, and he's like, That's for Charlie! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is this is a handicap match. <laughs> oh, okay. Goodbye. Well, whatever happens, Anastasia, whoever's life ends in this in this conflict, that was a pretty sweet Ferris wheel ride. <laughs> Oh yeah, she, I guess she is a KOF boss right now. <laughs> I got a trophy for whatever I just did. What is it so that Twitch won't uh, silence us? <laughs> it just said, like a lion. Oh. <laughs> I love hearing off-screen Kamiyama noises because they all sound like she just fell off of a- Whoa, that is a cool robot. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Also, you're not really fighting her right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is Anastasia being forced to do this? Oh, I see. Thank you for reading the, the like, story right now, because I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Somebody's blackmailing Anastasia. <laughs> Razy's pulling through to the uh, exasperation of everybody. <laughs> I thought you were about to say Razy's pulling the strings. <laughs> I mean, he might be too. Whoa. Yeah, her mech does have a gun. <laughs> Hello. Spirit power. Big boy. God breaker. <laughs> well, uh... Oh, Yaksha is here. God breaker is such a good name. <laughs> She's got such a co she Yaksha because it, she's just played by the person who plays Sakura Shinguji. She has such a nice, kind, soft voice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But very unfitting for the stuff she's saying. By Godbreaker. I kind of like villains. I kind of like villains that have that dynamic. It just makes what they're saying sound more ominous. <laughs> Why do we keep not having boss fights? Can't we just have boss fights at the appropriate times? I guess we gotta deal with these demons before we can look for her. I feel like that's been this entire mission so Yeah, far. same, Hatsuho. What did Hatsuho <laughs> say? Damn it, I'm hating this! I'm really hating this. <laughs> I, you know, I would be tempted to make that the video. But it just makes it sound like we're hating this game or something. And... I'm not hating this game, but it's definitely like it definitely tries your patience sometimes. I feel like this part is just like me kind of just like you know circling with my hand and being like, can we get to the point? <laughs> like... <laughs> 
I remember before I bought this game, I saw an out of context review, like a headline that was like, I don't know what I wanted, but it wasn't this. And I feel like now that I've played it, I feel like that was a bit harsh. But yeah. I think I might understand what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's just you know, um, there's like an interesting plotline happening. It feels like it's just like crawling towards it. And it's and it keeps derailing the plot for like stupid horny jokes. Oh yeah, there's that too. That was probably the most pointless fast scene we had, because I had, like, nothing happened. Like, I just gotta realize, like, no, like, punchline was there. <laughs> At least the other ones are just like, oh, that wacky, uh, Kamiyama, but it's just like, no, nothing, like, happened. <laughs> Yuri happened? Well, yeah. I used you for your information and also your penis. <laughs> Okay, that expression is, uh, making me kind of wonder. <laughs> Take off that stupid mask. <laughs> that is actually impossible, Yaksha. <laughs> You are a human being, so, like... Sakura, if you have another conflict about this, I swear. <laughs> Sakura, you're in timeout. Target Yaksha. Yeah, let's try talking to them. <laughs> Let's wag our giant mech fingers at them. <laughs> Ow. Your mech was like way bigger in that cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got really worried. I thought the match already ended. <laughs> Hey, get back here. I'm over here. <laughs> We're supposed to be having the fight. This is my plot line, damn it. Oh god, I have to dodge AoEs as I'm fighting. <laughs> Ow, 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 yeah, the, ow. The more Anasaz is talking, the more, like, less hey. convincing she is. Yeah. Oh no, totally, like, don't be Yaksha. I don't like you. Ow. I'm gonna have to switch to Kamiyama here for a second. <laughs> She's just like, oh, no, I'm not your friend. It oh, god damn it. I don't like you. I think she jumped away right as I did this move. What just happened? She she jumped away right before I did the uh like super. So it was it was useless. <laughs> Stay away from me. Stop getting in my way. Well, uh I mean we're not really fighting you, so uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, line AoEs! <laughs> Don't forget about your dodges. What are my dodges? R1? Yeah. Ow. I got really good at doing the dodges when I was fighting Arthur, and then I immediately forgot they existed. <laughs> Fun fact, you can do a dodge on the AoEs too. Oh, haha! <laughs> I'm not gonna miss against you this time. Jumps out of the way immediately. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, <laughs> I was really worried there was just gonna be startup for some reason. Well, your white bar is looking very small right now, so I don't know if that'll be a... <laughs> Ow. Aha! Ouch. I will say, uh, running away is not very a very ominous uh, strategy for the villain. <laughs> I want you to suffer. See ya. Yay! The power of dark steps. <laughs> more Yaksha, more like sucks. あなたたちの漁師水晶は我が剣で闇に落ちました動けないでしょう。ああ。そこでお流しくみていなさい。ライフガードですね。アイスドール。さあ、それを渡しなさい。待ちなさい。I'm into this. With the swords we're literally holding in our hands. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shadow Tokyo is back, baby. <laughs> The Imperial Sword? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have had Sakura bring that into battle. <laughs> or, you know, had it hanging around in her room? Where'd she actually get I that, think I like... know what's about to happen. <laughs> What is yep. That? Of course. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Everyone, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> well, that, uh... <laughs> Or her dead body, I don't know. <laughs> 39, I mean 18. <laughs> Is she still fine? She's got purple eyes, and she's emanating, like, purple fart gas, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what, what that's about. <laughs> Try to talk, you sick of hearing you. No, don't die, you had the gunplay style. <laughs> she died very quick. Damn. Mission accomplished! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, I got a perfect But it what cost? <laughs> <laughs> the despair really brought out the rank. Am I going to be able to save at any point? It is already 12.06. <laughs> that was a weird Christmas. Why was the German team wearing the masks? I know that there was that scene of somebody like walking in when they were waiting for something. Yeah, there's something up with uh, a couple of those teams.
Shut up. Yeah. I mean, the, the world games didn't really matter, so whatever. It's like having demons invade Earth, it's like, but Evo's happening, dude! Woodoofu. <laughs> The Eric Bischoff of the World Games. <laughs> uh, your mic's still on, dude. <laughs> your mic's still on, dude. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, anime. He has a lot oh, more okay. Everyone's dead. Oh. <laughs> this really is turning into Yu Yu Hakusho in its own way. <laughs> Shadow Tokyo looks radical. These are some images I was not this expecting fucking, to see This fucking, um... <laughs> fucking Shin Megami Tensei dungeon? <laughs> yeah! Wait a minute, this is a level in Oddworld. I know Merlade. I participated in the World Combat Games. Oh, well there's that thing from the, um... Okay, now it's, now it is SMT! <laughs> Yeah! Very interesting, very interesting design, jeez. Now, Sakura sunburnt. Your life! Damn it! <laughs> Why do I feel like they're not gonna mention it at all when he comes back? I show Era tail to touch hearts. Yeah, that is. <laughs> you ain't kidding. <laughs> Any new developments? Clarice likes us too. Uh, Azami is still kind of. I don't know. <laughs> they should have the Anasazi one just to lift up into the sky. <laughs> okay, <be> so. <laughs> That that was an episode. A lot happened in this last two hours. Dying. We and had also... sex in a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Anastasia betrayed us, and then got betrayed, and then got cut with a sword. Reiji got shot. I guess that doesn't matter. Um, Shattered. Tokyo is uh, invading normal Tokyo now. Wait, I just realized did that one shot of the the troop have like Anastasia in there? I don't remember. I guess we'll see in the VOD. <laughs> yeah. Um. Man. We we went on a date. Anastasia <laughs> betrayed us. Supposedly. Shadow Tokyo happened. Who? Oh boy, President G was evil. Who would have guessed? <laughs> and now he's a fucking, like, SMT Lucifer man. I do like the design of his face where, like, he only has, like, half of one. That's pretty good. Yeah. Neat. Okay then. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that was a ride. Tune in next week, everybody. <laughs> For something I cannot even begin to imagine where this is gonna go at this point, and I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody who showed up. Um. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing what other stupid directions this goes in.
so am I. I'm so I, I must again s state that I do not hate this game. I find this game to be quite fun, but yeah. this game is a lot of trash sometimes and a lot of like unnecessary bullshit. Like she could have just stolen. The, the thing is, she could have just stolen the robot. She didn't need to shoot Reiji, but they needed to have that shot in, like, the trailer to make you go, what? Yeah, and it worked. <laughs> but, like... The thing is, like... Yeah, even the characters are... Like, they mentioned it once, and they didn't seem too concerned about it. They just mostly were concerned. It's like, where's Anastasia? It's like, that's how unnecessary it was. Yeah, it's like, we gotta bring her back. What about Reiji? He's gonna be fine. Worry about Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, it's like, maybe worry about the guy that got shot first. <laughs> and then it's like this sword that Sakura's been using this whole time that maybe if it was so important, she shouldn't have been using the whole time. It was probably just like hanging out in a room, like on the bed or something. That's kind of advice for everybody, really. You know what? You know what? If I had to choose a way to go, you know? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, Anastasia with a gun, that's not thats not the worst one. <laughs> I'll be a plot point that gets glossed over as soon as it happens. <laughs> yeah, the ne next episode, Emmy got shot anyway. <laughs> all, uh, last week, uh, you know, last Tuesday, we all got shot at some point, but don't worry about that. Uh, if I, if I'm anyways, ever, uh... last week, last, anyways, last week, Amy got shot. Now it's Sasha Rewards. <laughs> oh, that one's really good. That's really good. It's my show, but that's really good. <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> Also, yeah, that would be, uh... Because you'd probably, like, suffocate in that thing eventually. <laughs> if I'm ever... Not, if I'm ever, like, sick or out of town or something for a scheduled stream, start it up with, Emmy got shot, and then don't talk about me for the rest of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like we could do more kayfabe things. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know, mention who, just for, yeah, spoiler reasons, but there is, like, another streaming buddy that's planning to do something for an anniversary near the end of the month, where, basically, in some way, he wanted to do, like, FK Fabe invasion across streams or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to him about it, but I'm totally down for something like that. Actually, now that I think about it, that might be a bad idea because I don't want to make anyone actually legitimately scared about me. If we do something like that, it'll uh, just be something incredibly exaggerated and nonsensical. <laughs> she got shot by Anastasia. <laughs> she got shot with a laser gun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Anyway, um, thank you everybody for stopping in and having a having a time with us, having a normal one this week on Soccer Wars. Yeah, for sure. This might have been the most outlandish episode yet. I actually don't. Hmm. There's a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> it's up there. This might be the top. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we will see you next Saturday, if not before, or this coming Saturday, I should say. Um, and we will, next week will probably be more uh, Raw as Emmy. Maybe we'll finish that up. Maybe not. We'll see if Twitch cooperates. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, stay safe. Don't let Shadow Tokyo happen. <laughs> and uh, stay sexy. Good night. Good night. <laughs>